This is an extreme challenge. We've totally blown everything that you might consider to be a house out of the equation. We are transforming a trash dumpster into a sustainable home. Wilson. I'm Dean of the University College here at Houston Tillotson University in Austin, Texas. And I'm also Professor Dumpster. I teach classes in environmental studies. Finding it sort of difficult to disseminate my research out to the general public, I thought, well, let's come up with something a little more engaging. We went out, picked out a home. We wanted to look at consuming and even just owning less stuff, what that could do in terms of, sort of your own sense of happiness. We started with, you know, at the absolute bottom in a used yet cleaned out trash can with some cardboard on the floor. It's 36 square feet. This is actually what I slept on. This was my bed. <laughs> After that first night, we started adding small conveniences. So this is sort of my chair slash bed that folds out. It's pretty comfortable. So I've got a crawl in, if you will, closet in the basement. And one of them I have all of my clothes. It's not too bad for no mirror and a dumpster. And one of them I have a, uh, a vintage typewriter, I'm a little bit ashamed to say. I <laughs> know, it's terrible. At this point, I'm really okay without a toilet. I use the bathroom on campus. I use a shower in the gym. I don't shower as often. It does cause you to improvise some. That's a dumpster sink. <laughs> so one of the really nice things about the uh, dumpster crib is that if you want a romantic evening, you can just uh, open up the roof. I have a partner. We've been together the entire length of the dumpster project. On our first date, he kind of laid the plan out on the table and he's like, I am preparing to move into an alternative housing structure um, and it's a dumpster. We're in a dumpster, which is a receptacle for human waste. I spent a night in there within the first handful of weeks. Good night. And it involved a lot of sleeping bags and sleeping at weird angles. I, to be honest, didn't sleep that great. <laughs> From the very start, we've had to say, you can't like use my place as a crutch. For this to be real and believable, you gotta do it like you say you're gonna do it, which is in the dumpster, even if it's rough. We're coming up on the one year anniversary in February. I feel happier pretty much every week the experiment goes. I don't know what's going to happen after the dumpster. I don't see myself uh, moving back into a, a, a normal living arrangement immediately. I think it would be too much shock. 